Over the last 23 years, Turkey has undergone a remarkable transformation, evolving into an industrial powerhouse. Presently, its heavy industries sector rivals that of major European countries like France, Spain, and the United Kingdom. Remarkably, Turkey has aggressively pursued the coveted sixth position in global weapons exports, even outpacing Israel, a leading exporter of multi-purpose military drones. Turkish-made drones, particularly the highly effective Bayraktar TB2, are deployed in over 35 countries, proving their efficiency in various conflict zones, including Ukraine. Interestingly, some of these drones are powered by engines supplied by Ukraine, despite the ongoing conflict in the region. This extraordinary feat in weapons manufacturing and heavy industries is attributed to the vision set forth by Turkey's president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, since he assumed office as prime minister in 2003. This raises the intriguing question, how did Turkey manage to establish the world's largest fleet of armed drones, and what factors contribute to their widespread popularity? Presently, the Turkish army ranks as the second largest standing military force within NATO, trailing only the US armed forces, and it holds the 13th position globally. It's worth noting that its 13th position is primarily due to its absence of nuclear weaponry, which it indirectly accesses through its NATO membership and the presence of US nuclear bases on its soil. From a tactical perspective, any military force venturing into a non-nuclear conflict in Europe must first contend with the formidable Turkish armed forces before confronting the might of the US military. This may seem surprising and unconventional to many, considering that Turkey is an Islamic nation and approximately 96% of its 90 million inhabitants adhere to the Muslim faith. Turkey has also demonstrated a fervent commitment to producing its own weaponry, boasting an extensive range of modern military equipment and munitions. This includes the Altay main battle tank, the Terex infantry carrier vehicle, the PARS amphibious armored combat vehicle, the Tulpar heavy infantry fighting vehicle, the Kaplan lightweight tank, the Barbaros class frigate, the Thai Augusta Westland T-129, ATAC all-weather attack helicopter, the Hisar family surface-to-air missile system, the T-155 self-propelled howitzer, the Thai Hurjet supersonic advanced trainer, and light combat aircraft, among numerous others. Furthermore, the Turkish military possesses an impressive drone fleet, surpassing the combined numbers of all European nations. With over 200 TB2 and TB3 drones, along with various indigenous models like the Thai Anka, Thai Anka 3, and Thai Aksungur. Turkey's drone capabilities are not only extensive but also technologically advanced. It's worth noting that while TB2 and TB3 drones come with a price tag of $5 to $8 million each, they incorporate cutting-edge technology and complexity. Remarkably, this remarkable success story in engineering is credited to a single university graduate, whose master's thesis showcased an algorithm capable of landing an unmanned helicopter in challenging terrain, including vertical surfaces. The driving force behind Turkey's military drone achievements is Selçuk Bayraktar. Back in 2005, at the age of 26, Selçuk graduated with a degree in electrical engineering from Turkey's leading university. Just two years later, he earned a master's degree from the University of Pennsylvania. A year after that, he left a doctoral program at MIT, confident that he had envisioned the next frontier in cutting-edge warfare technology and didn't require further academic pursuits. Fortuitously, his family was the owner of Bayraktar Makina, a company established by their father in 1984, initially focused on manufacturing automobile components as part of Turkey's car production initiative. By the 2000s, the company had shifted its focus to unmanned aerial vehicles. Selçuk Bayraktar stands as the visionary behind Turkey's most sophisticated drones and their associated technologies. From an economic standpoint, military drones significantly bolster Turkey's military-industrial complex export earnings, Official records from 2022 reveal that Turkey achieved a staggering $4.4 billion in drone exports, a figure ironically surpassing the entire annual defense budgets of certain European nations. This remarkable statistic propelled the country's total arms exports for the same year to exceed $10 billion. Looking ahead, Turkey is poised to generate over $7 billion from drone deals by the end of 2023 positioning itself in direct competition with major players like China and America in the global drone export market. According to the Atlantic Council, Turkey is home to approximately 2,000 companies in the weapons manufacturing sector. 
Notably, in August of this year, the country secured a monumental $4 billion deal involving the production of TB2 and TB3 drones in Saudi Arabia. Turkey has also inked various deals with numerous other nations, spanning from tens of millions to billions of dollars. Now, let's delve into the details of some of Turkey's top and most widely exported drones. The drone that brought Turkey into the spotlight is the Bayraktar TB2, a medium-altitude long-endurance unmanned combat aerial vehicle designed for both remote-controlled and autonomous flight operations. Monitoring and control, including weapons deployment, are managed by a ground control station operated by aircrew. In November 2021, the TB2 drone achieved a significant milestone, accumulating 400,000 flight hours globally, solidifying its position as the flagship of the Turkish military. Its inaugural flight took place in August 2014, and by December 18, 2015, a video showcasing a missile test firing from the Bayraktar TB2 was released. Subsequent tests included trials with laser-guided bombs, while its predecessor, the TB1, relied on imported components like Austria's Rotax 92 engines and Canadian Optoelectronics from Westcom or Hensoldt from Germany. The TB2 and all its components are proudly manufactured in Turkey. The Bayraktar TB2 boasts a unique blended wing body design with an inverted V-tail structure. Thrust is generated by a variable pitch two-blade propeller in a pusher configuration, mounted between the tail booms and driven by an internal combustion engine situated in the body. The platform features a modular monocoque design with detachable main components, such as wings, tail boom, and V-tails. The fuselage pieces primarily consist of carbon fiber composite, reinforced with machined aluminum parts at joints. Fuel is stored in bladder tanks, with consumption balanced through solenoid valves. The TB2 ground control station operates from a NATO specification shelter unit, equipped with cross-redundant command and control systems. Looking forward, the Baykar Bayraktar drone's next generation is the Bayraktar TB3 UAV, representing a continued evolution in Turkey's drone technology. The TB3 represents a significant advancement over the TB2 and is equipped with short-range landing and takeoff capabilities. Specifically designed for deployment on Turkey's inaugural aircraft carrier, the TCG Anadolu, categorized as an amphibious assault ship similar to Spain's Juan Carlos aircraft carrier, the TB3 serves as the naval variant of the TB2. It is powered by an engine developed by the Turkish company Tusash Engine Industries, measuring 8.35 meters in length. 2.6 meters in height, and with a wingspan of 14 meters, the TB3 has a maximum takeoff weight of 1,450 kilograms, a payload capacity of 280 kilograms, and can reach speeds of up to 300 kilometers per hour. Its avionics include interchangeable EO IRLD imaging and targeting sensor systems, as well as multi mode AESA radar technology. The manufacturer behind these groundbreaking developments, Baycar, currently dominates the field and is rapidly advancing its latest and most promising drone, the fighter UAV Kizilelma, which successfully completed its maiden flight in 2022. The Kizilelma stands at an impressive length of 14.6 meters, boasting a wingspan of 9.7 meters. Its remarkable capabilities include a range spanning 925 kilometers, an operational altitude exceeding 10 kilometers, and an impressive top speed of around 740 kilometers per hour. This fighter drone is outfitted with cutting-edge stealth technologies, incorporating an angular design that significantly reduces its radar cross-section, along with an internal weapons bay. Among its advanced features are an active electronically scanned array, an antenna enabling both line-of-sight and beyond line-of-sight control, and the ability to execute fully autonomous takeoffs and landings. Powering the Kizilelma, is the subsonic AI-322F engine, manufactured by the Ukrainian firm Ivchenko Progress, which continues production despite the ongoing conflict. Anticipated to carry a diverse arsenal, the Kizilelma will be armed with precision-guided munitions, air-to-air -air missiles, and cruise missiles manufactured by Turkish producers. In addition to the Kizilelma, Turkey boasts other formidable drones like the Tai Aksungur and Tai Anka, exclusively crafted by Turkish Aerospace Inc. for the country's armed forces. These drones are highly advanced, rapid, and lethal, enhancing Turkey's military prowess significantly. Do you believe Turkey has the potential to ascend among the top three global leaders in advanced military drone development and exports? 
Share your thoughts in the comments below, and kindly consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and activating the notification bell for more updates.